Welcome to the RSF Team Series of Racing Tonight, and as always, on Monday and Wednesday nights here on ETV Live, Monday and Friday from the Midtown Cowboys, J.D. Ward, John, the Bad Boy West, and Matt McKinley, the Bad Boy West, and Dragon Ball, of course, also John the Super and I, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, before we get to the track, uh, information on Wendy Bernard from Dragon Motorsports, let's track, talk about uh, Bristol, guys. I tell you, uh, Dragon Motorsports uh, had their issues uh, along with several other people. Dragon Motorsports uh, had their issues uh, along with Yeah, I tell you what, there was a great race, normal Bristol. A lot of guys running really hard, trying to get every position they can. And really tough to keep your teammates close to you at Bristol with uh, passing being at a premium. Yeah, you got that right. And Wendy, Dragon Dragon Motorsports. Yeah, uh, yeah, you guys started out pretty good. Had uh, a couple of cars up there in the top yeah, ten for a good part of the race in the beginning, and uh, uh, then what happened? Well, Bristol's uh, never been our strongest track. Just some bad luck here and there. That kind of reached up and slapped us kind of hard. And we've fallen back, regrouped, had some team meetings, and we're just looking forward to the rest of the season. We're going to make up the difference. To the rest of the season, we're going to make up the difference. There you go. Spoken like a true team. Team owner, but uh, you know, along the way there at Bristol, uh, you know, going down through the penalty, Jesse Rusevich uh, having a bad night there, Tracy. A couple of spins for that uh, number 70 MTC Oakland. Yeah, I tell you what, that added up to a 10 point penalty for them. Yeah, I tell you what, that'll come out of their points, but yeah, just a rough time keeping the car from getting loose. But I know, I think each time he got loose, he was trying to get underneath somebody. And on that low side, he tried to exit the corner, and kind of like a hump there on the car was just. Jump loose on him one time. He had it on the carpet. Just basically stayed. Made it all the way back to corner one, but lost it. Uh, get in there trying to save it, Jenny. You bet. And uh, John Elkins, uh, the winner of the race from Bristol for Cross the Motorsports, his teammate Sean Brown having difficulty there on the lap of 119. Will self spin. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's quite, a, quite a few of them uh, getting caught up you know, with that banana pill. John Wesley would call it. Getting caught up you know, with that banana pill. Yeah, and that affects. Uh, Sean Brown pretty bad. He ended up head down yeah, card where he had a park it for the night. But, you know, as far as uh, Dragon Motorsports is issue, you know, one of the things that came up real early was the number eight. He got hit, came back, tried to save it, uh, hit that wall really hard and got a flat. And that put them back. But, yeah, self-spin were pretty much a common place tonight. But, yeah, uh, last week of Bristol. You bet. Then uh, I'll tell you what, uh, why don't we go ahead and step away. We're going to take a real quick commercial break and when we come back, we're going to take you down through the points and tell you who's who and who's where in the RSN Team Racing Moon Series. Sit tight, RSN Team Racing Moon Series. Sit tight, RSN Welcome back, race fans, the RSN Wednesday Night Team right, Racing back, Series. We're going to go ahead and take you down through the point. Right, tell you who's who, who's, who's where in the team series standing. Starting off at the top, Tracy Iron Pig Racing, Kevin Brent winning the race in Bristol last week. Chris Melton finishing in 16th, Dan Wiley with the ninth place finish. 214 points to the good side. Currently your leaders in the team series racing standards. And in your second place team, Stand. The Elite Sim Racing. Yeah. Tell you what, uh, Chris Wilson had a great race. Racing. Led quite a few laps. Wasn't uh, able to keep his car up front, though. Led as uh, Elite Sim Racing finished 6th, 7th, and 15th. Uh, uh, dropping him back to 212 points. Two points out of first place. 
Bet hauls on Pope up four positions uh, from last week, guys. What a move uh, for hauls on Pope. Kyle Lent with a third place finish. Tony Bowling finishing right behind him in fourth. Dwayne Hall with a top ten finish in eighth place. Keeping them uh, up in third place. Fourteen points behind them. The, uh, the leaders, guys. Iron Pig Racing hauls on the post on the move to the front, guys. Iron Pig Racing. And in fourth place this week is the team of Dragon Motorsports. And in fourth, they're down one spot team of with Dragon finishes. Of 12th, 5th, and 18th. Had a little rough time out there. They seem to come out okay and didn't take too many points off. Because now they are 16 points behind the leader with 198. Now they are 16 points behind the leader with 198. You bet. And Dwayne Hall, the leader, with 198. You bet. And sitting in 5th place, crossed up Motorsports. John Elkins finishing 2nd behind Kevin Brents. Hal Beardsworth for the 11th place finish. Sean Brown, a 17th place finish. Sean Brown uh, having a little bit of trouble. There on lap 119 with a uh, self-spin. 38 points behind the leaders, guys, at 176 points. Yeah, and your sixth-place team this week is uh, RaceSimNation.net. Tell you what, they end up with a 10th, 19th, and 23rd there at Bristol. Uh, not very great finishes, but not the worst at all either with the 10th place. But there are 51 points behind the leaders, losing two spots this week with 163 points. You bet, Dan. Sitting in 7th place, the ETV Live, Howard Pittman finishing 13th last week, 20, uh, the 20 of Scotty Collins in 21st, and Brian Pace with a 22nd place finish. Not the finish that they were looking for at Bristol. Down one position, 55 points behind Iron Pig Racing, Tracy. And your 8th place team is the MTCO Racing. Uh, was They had a really tough night. Uh, none of their guys even finished in the top ten there. Uh, caused them a little points. They uh, had a penalty to cure it upon them. And they are now at uh, 69 points behind the leader, losing three spots from last week with 145 total points, J.D. You bet. And, Tracy, you know, one thing, uh, you know, we make a big deal about the points here. But uh, the other thing, too, is the penalty points. You know, you uh, it looks like you're finishing pretty good there. You might have uh, three cars up in the top ten, maybe a couple in the top five. But then, uh, you know, when the penalties get assessed, uh, you know, the big thing to hit uh, MTCO last week, of course, was Jesse Versimus. He got uh, a couple of penalties uh, assessed to him, cost him ten points for that team. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, that can hurt uh, sometimes. Yeah, I tell you what, those 10 points equal two people finishing in 24th. They had one car finish 14th, so basically you could say he ended up 24th in the race with that 10-point penalty. So and with the way our our points are set up, 10 points is a lot, and uh, it really takes the wind out of your team's sail. Yeah, it does. And uh, I'll tell you what, penalties were also assessed to Sean Brown, and uh, Sean Brown uh, suffering some uh, some penalty points here. Also, what Roger Haygood uh, there at the beginning of the race. And Sean Brown, uh, of course, a self-spin to him on lap 119. Roger Haygood right there at the beginning of the race on lap three, guys. Uh, self-spin cost him five points for uh, the team at RaceOfNation.net. So penalties can be painful. And uh, I know, uh, Wendy, uh, you've done some, uh, some research, some uh, looking into things and everything. And I understand you realize how important it is to keep your nose clean out there on the track. Oh, most certainly. I uh, went through last season and, and figured up the points, saw how much we lost, and uh, had some team meetings and said, hey, guys, we got to clean this up. That uh, always helps to get the team together and uh, and work on strategies and, and uh, plan for the next race coming up. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, that's our points and penalties uh, for the uh, current standings here, the RSN Wednesday Night Team Racing Series. And, uh, Wendy, Kansas Speedway, tell us about it. Kansas Speedway was opened in 2001 in Kansas City, Kansas. And this track is a one-and-a-half-mile tri-oval with an asphalt surface and has 15-degree bankings in the turns. All right, and uh, I'll tell you what, looking forward to the race tonight. going to be an awesome time. We usually do uh, pretty well here. All right, and, Tracy, uh, tonight at Kansas Speedway, some interesting statistics uh, here and looking through the numbers, uh, we've been here seven times, and the cautions, uh, I see the number seven come up frequently. Yeah, I tend to get a, another track where you tend to get a lot of self-spins out there, J.D., and that'll bring our caution report up just because 
Um, it happened without basically you can't feel it when it happened until after it was already too far, JD. You bet. And uh, you know, as far as uh, who's going to do well here tonight, I think uh, I think we're going to go with Halls on Post uh, as the uh, number one team to try to beat here. Looking through the uh, the names on the uh, top ten through the last seven races here, I see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Tony Bowling's and uh, Dwayne Halls, James Greegate's name pops up quite a bit. So we're going to put Halls on Post at the top of the pile here, and then in second, Tracy, I'm thinking Dragon Motorsports. Yeah, I tell you what, even though Dragon had a rough week last week, they do have very good stats. Larry Mullican's name shows up a lot on good finishes outside out of a. Uh, the Kansas track there. So look for Larry Mullican to do some really good things. I tell you what, and also Dave Hooten. Dave Hooten's really got things going forward. Uh, just had a little rough day there at uh, Bristol, but look for him to be really good at Kansas. And Frankie Simano usually running always up in the top ten on these tracks. Katie. You bet. And, uh, you know, for our third pick tonight here at Kansas Speedway, I think we're going to go across the motorsports that's going to be uh, Sean Brown, John Elkins, Hal Beardsworth, and, and uh, Don Klein. I've seen Don Klein sh and uh, uh, Sean Brown's name, even Hal Beardsworth, that name, uh, up in the top ten quite a few times here at Kansas in the last seven races. Sean uh, suffering uh, the uh, penalties and the uh, spin at Bristol last week, looking to uh, improve that here at Kansas tonight, Tracy. Yeah, I tell you what, that's uh, real good picks for our top three this week. And look for uh, everybody to do really good here in Kansas. Uh, usually shows up pretty well, but you're going to see a lot of fast guys working really hard up front, pushing these cars for everything they got. But look for that Halls on Post team to have all three cars up in the top five there, J.D. You bet. And I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and step away, take a commercial break here. And when we come back, we'll take you down through the weekly news here at RaceOfNation.net. So sit tight. We'll be right back. You're watching ETV Live, the leader in sim broadcasting. The very best in the business brings you the highest in broadcast quality with superior audio and instant replay by the exclusive ETV Rewind Machine. And don't miss the pre-race entertainment by the ETV Live Band. Have some fun with the broadcast team in the ETV chat room and listen to a live race scanner. Keep up with ETV Live news and check out the ETV Live Superstore and get yourself an ETV Live t-shirt. ETV Live, the leader in sim broadcasting. It's the only choice. All right, and in the news this week, Halls on Post Monday Night Racing Series, and uh, currently the standings are listed from the race last week. Last night's race, guys, is not posted yet. We had some issues uh, at Dover and I had to jump in the Jets and uh, haul butt for Chicago Speedway. But uh, in the points, uh, as far as they stand currently, Kevin Brent's your leader at 88 points and seven points behind him, Tony Bowling. Jason Riddle, last season's Halls on Post Monday Night Pro Series Series champion, 11 points behind Kevin Brent's. Jason Krause enjoying a fourth place standings, 15 points behind Brent's and Kyle Lent occupying the fifth place uh, 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 position there. But uh, i tell you what, the Halls on Post uh, race last night, Chicago Land Speedway, we got out of there in pretty good shape. James Greegate, Sean Brown, and Kevin Brent, your top three at Chicago with only three cautions. Tracy? Yeah, i tell you what, that was a great race. Only three cautions. You ended up getting a long run. I do believe they ran around 60 laps on tires and fuel. Before a caution came out, after three-quarters of the field have already pitted and ended up being a lap down, which left us with only seven cars on the lead lap there, J.D., for that last run. You bet. And I'll tell you what, what a night uh, it was there. Uh, of course, uh, we had a little bit of technical problems. John Westling does his best to... Uh, to keep it uh, keep it up and keep it running. The one good thing we do have, if we if we lose the broadcast on the air, we've always got the backup copy ready for upload uh, the following day. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, everything uh, went successfully, and uh, we were able to uh, upload the file and have a good uh, a good review, a good replay. And last week, guys, at uh, Kentucky Speedway, a benefit race for a young man out in Atlanta, Georgia, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. 
in the Aflac uh, Children's Center out there. His name is Gavin Lake. He's the grandson of Dwayne and Angela Hall from the Halls on Post uh, uh, team here, the All in the Hall family, as we like to call it. And uh, I tell you what, uh, Chris Melton, James Grigay, Tony Bowling, finishing one, two, three. The purse for the night was two hundred dollars. I believe it was a hundred dollars to the uh, winner, and then uh, fifty bucks each to the uh, second place and third place finishers. And I'll tell you what, after the race was over with and during the uh, post-race interviews, all three drivers donated their winnings, their cash, back to Gavin Lake. And from what I understand from uh, Grandfather Dwayne Hall, uh, Gavin Lake is neck deep in Monster Truck Xbox games. He's an absolute fan of Monster Truck racing. But uh, a genuine cause is uh, Gavin Lake suffering from Wilms tumor cancer. He's already had a kidney removed. And uh, Tracy and uh, Wendy, he's uh, undergoing uh, chemotherapy and radiation treatments, and our thoughts and prayers are with him. All right, and now it's time to take you trackside as national recording artists, the Cactus Cuties, present the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched we're so gay. 